Well guys, it turns out that's not a crane being built on the side of the parking garage. That's just a feature. Something, some kind of architectural thing. Oh well. We'll find out how a crane is built some other time. Friends, I have not made it to the art store to pick up any new materials, unfortunately. However, this I think is pretty cool. Look at the texture there. And it's not totally hard, but it's pretty hard. I mean, it's, it's not coming off of there. I do like this when it happens sometimes. You know, an artistic mistake. It's not a mistake, it's a happy accident, right? And uh, outside, there's a little bit of a show happening. Having a cover band tonight. It's a free show. If you're in St. Pete and uh, you're around on a Friday night, usually the shows are free. So I don't know if we're going to get to any painting this evening. Got some friends coming over and we might do some dice or something, but I had a long day working this afternoon. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Let's see what the next little adventure is going to be. Hey friends, we haven't talked about a magazine lately and one of them I have in the stash is this American Kite Flyers kiting magazine from Autumn 2012, Volume 34, Issue 3. Do you guys use the word Autumn anymore? I don't, I don't typically use that. So uh, here's one thing I want to show you. Five things that are in the kite bag. Always in my kite bag. Not mine, but these people's kite bags. You see here. Rond Lindner, 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 kite lines, all sizes, all lengths. It gives kites away. Water, jack back. It's like a seat. Anchors, sand. Carry sand around with them. Well, okay. Richard, sunblock. Always a good idea. Scissors. Uh, he, he likes to support the AKA. Bring some signage with him. Uh, well, AKA applications. It's cool. Repair. Oh, here's one. This is pretty good. Uh, repair tape knife, ground stakes, carabiners. Yeah, carabiners. Always handy. Now, here's uh, Gail Woodle. Oh, Gail. Shower curtain rings. Talks about how useful they are. I believe her tweezers. Electric or duct tape, twine, twine, and don't forget your Bose iPod speaker. And wherever you're flying, Gail, uh, you might want to switch locations if you have to bring zombie propellant. Maybe find another flying field. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to talk about this one, the top 10 kite festivals. Now, this is from 2012, and I won't give you any more details, but aren't those kites pretty cool? Look at that gigantic arch of kites. Now you guys remember, there's some kites coming your way. The kites I speak of are the kites that I told you about a couple months back when I was advertising that the first hundred followers, subscribers of this YouTube channel, World's Greatest Kiting, were going to get a kite made by me made by these hands and sent to you. I'm gonna sign each one, we're gonna fly them in a big giant stack and we'll probably go ahead and fly a, an arch. I'll make an arch with some of those kites. They're kites that you can use for either or. Uh, so it'll be fun. It's gonna be a good, good experience. Working through some of the details on that now because it's part of a bigger project. There's some big, big things that are gonna happen with World's Greatest Kiting in the near future. Believe me, it's going to be interesting, <laughs> exciting, fun, and I think you're going to like it. I know you're going to like it, but I think maybe you'll be surprised. So, friends are still not here. The music's going on in the background. Still might get to some things tonight, but we'll see what happens.
Thanks for watching everyone. No, thank you. Thank you. No, it's okay. It's okay. No, really. Really, it's okay. No more applause, please. Please, everyone. But thank you for subscribing anyway. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Happy flying, everybody. Happy flying. No, no more applause, please. It's not quite over yet today, friends. I have a special surprise for you. Usually I like to show just clips of the music that's played downstairs, but the band down there for the Yacht Rock Night played one of my favorite dancing songs of all time, You Can Call Me Al by Paul Simon. And I've recorded most of the song for you, and I'm going to play everything that I have here at the end so you too can dance along with the music. Go ahead and try not doing it. It's nearly impossible. So what I want you to do is push the computer to the side, put the remote control down if you're watching this on your television in your living room, turn up the music a little bit first, and then I want you to dance along with me. You'll see a partial way through this video. It gets a little shaky because I had to put the phone down myself and readjust the camera for good video because I had to dance myself. So I'll be dancing with you, I promise as I'm editing this and as I'm watching it every single time, I promise I will be dancing to this Paul Simon song. I love this song. I hope it brings back good memories for you. I hope it gives you good memories right now, dancing in your living room or wherever you're at. Sing along with it, have some fun. And guys, happy flying.